people are like, oh, does this dude really make two million a month? I'm like, two million. Let's make 20. Gosh, girl, call me baby. Wetter than sail in the Navy. Oh, bitch, I'm Mercedes. 100k on the daily, so kind of, I'm making fainty. Boys and girls, men and women, we're on the way. We're gonna go meet up with Wes Watson. Y'all remember him from the video that got over 2 million views where we checked out his SD San Diego Palace, $30 million. We're in Miami. We're gonna go check out his Miami mansion. It's actually new, modern, aesthetic, cost $23 million. So we're gonna get a full tour. If you don't know who Wes Watson is, you're about to find out again. Makes $2 million a month. Also wanna just remind everybody, I have a private community. We have entrepreneurs in there, multi-millionaires in there, where we all get to learn from each other and talk to each other. Whether you wanna learn real estate, you wanna learn how to trade stocks to make money, or you wanna learn how to build your social media, we have live coaching calls to teach you, and you can ask questions, and we can all grow together. If you aren't surrounding yourself with the right network of people, you are not gonna grow in this life, you are not gonna level up. So click that link in the description below. This is uh, Mr. West Watson's house. Let's check it out. Look at this. You got the Bravis, the Rolls Royce, the SCJ. Damn. It's a grand entrance right here. I don't even know where to knock. Yeah. Big snooze coast to coast. <laughs> hey. Uh, I just put a body kit. Yeah. Our last video in Cali did 2 million views oh, yeah. and the, the other guys are only beating me by a little bit. Nobody beats me. We're going to beat him on this time and the other one's going to top everybody else. Let's go. Let's see. Let, let me close this door real quick. Come on. It's too hot, Miami. Yeah. You got to keep the AC running. I think my AC bill in this is probably 10 bands a month. I don't know. We don't check it. Okay, there's some people that are probably watching that didn't see the last video. And just give them a little, a quick summary of what, what you do. America's most famous felon, Wes Watson. I did 10 years in the California prison system, and I knew I created the that I would listen to. Fully blasted on swole, I understand. At a deep level of life, how to excel and be successful. Operating from universal truths and deeper systems that we don't even see. They don't even see what I can see. Because I lived in a place that's not the same problems out here on the streets. In prison, you have to operate differently, you have to move differently, you have to read people and life differently. And it just taught me how to really structure my day with the best habits possible to succeed in anything. Yeah. So, but start off YouTube, GP Penitentiary Life with Wes Watson. That's where I first started telling my story. And then I started selling programs. Programs that get your mind, body, and soul right, get you fit, get you really on track, get you dropping the vices, the alcohol, the bullshit. And then once I get you right, I teach you how to do that to others. Mm -hmm. And that's where I really started selling, was teaching people how to sell these programs to help people. And honestly, like, the only thing, I have everything. I have everything. I have got four Rolls Royces, three Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Rolls Royces and mansions on both coasts, whatever the every watch that I ever want, I just go buy this one's half a million. All that means nothing to me. If I don't have my personal development process, I always tell people the world is not as it is, the world is as you are. So every day I'm structuring my internal state to get aligned with seeing the world correctly, and that's the gift I give people. Cold heart, pretty face, let it chase, big mistake, no give or take. They are How big is this house? What's the square foot is? 9,500 9, square feet, three floors. Wow. The best furnishings. Modern, you saw my Patton SD, it was, uh, Patton SD is like more Spanish style, yeah. more Rancho Santa Fe, different older yeah, style. Know, yeah. yeah, this is sexy, modern Miami. So one of the seating rooms, entrance to the pad. Okay. I mean, one of the best things about this pad is at nighttime, the lighting. We got like the recessed lighting, all this yeah. It's just real, you know, it's steel, it's glass, it's the best tiles, woods. So this is three stories, huh? Three stories, right on the water. You got an elevator on the right? Or yeah, I got the glass elevator. Here's, here's another seating room. This is more like a media room. It's okay. got the good speakers. I always just, I don't watch TV. I watch my security cameras. Okay. Don't try to roll up on me. I'll kill your <laughs> ass. That's like one thing that will happen. I'll film you on my Instagram and I'll show that you're walking up. And then I'll come beat the dog out of you and leave you on my steps out front, straight up. I messed up oh, that yeah, <laughs> we, we, we don't have nothing lying around. Snooze left the mic, the trash right there. We don't, we don't, we, anything. There's not a spot, not a speck anywhere in the pad. And that comes from being incarcerated. People in prison, 
you take care of your Even in my cell in prison, that I would wax the floor, my sheets were fucking just uh, done with like uh, the laundry soap is spotless. You whisk the cologne in between the cracks, you fold it, you roll it up. In prison, people always are really judgmental about how you keep your your property, your personal space. Because if you have a dirty cell, you're like, the fuck is this dude doing? Makes us both look bad. He smells. I mean, everything's about really being on point, man. People can have the nicest cars and they treat them like shit. The nicest pads and they treat them like shit. In all reality, that cell is like life. One of my favorite books that I read when I was in prison was We're All Doing Time with Bo Lozoff. Yeah. And the thing is, is what he said was he, were, he lived at this monastery. and He lived there for seven years. So at this monastery, they made you sweep the leaves every morning. And when they made you sweep the leaves, you had to make your broom first. And he never liked sweeping because he didn't take the time to make his broom right. Then his homie sat him down. He's like, hey, man, calm down. Like, let's make your broom right. I bet he didn't say it like that because they're at a Buddhist right, monastery. Right, right, yeah. but <laughs> and, um, and he helps him make his broom correctly. And then that day after, the next day, the next day, the next day, he started learning that that broom was him and yeah. sweeping was life. Yeah. So if you take the time to make yourself correct, life's a breeze. Yeah. And if you don't, it's going to yeah. you. And that's what I keep coming back to personal development, making the best you, so you can even do it like this. Because you guys don't even believe that you can pay for a pad like this since $130,000 a month. Mm -hmm. That's it's nothing. Like this month I had the pad in Cali, multiple private jet flights that are $50,000 a piece, bought myself a $500,000 watch, two $400,000 cars. <laughs> Two four hundred thousand dollar cars cash, and like the whole thing is, is people are like, "Oh, does this dude really make two million a month?" I'm like, Fuck two million. Let's make twenty. Yeah. How the fuck can we do that? And people are still just trying to get their first M. That's the hardest part. But it takes a better you to get to your goals quicker. Yeah, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. If your house is spotless like this, so it takes someone with spotless habits to have a spotless pad. It takes someone with like really impeccable vision to even have the type of cars I have. Like at first you just get a G-Wagon, but it's like, ah, it's not enough. I need the Brabus. Oh wait, no, I need the best color. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I need the best done interior. Wait, that doesn't have the right lighting. Like people are who are real meticulous, they usually starts with self. But I mean, whatever you're passionate about that you lose time in and you go into flow state, that's a gateway towards something you should work on. People always ask me like how they find their passion or what they should do. And I'm like, if money was an issue, what would you do? Because mm -hmm. money's not an issue to me anymore. So what do I do? I have to get up, do my workout, really reflect on who I am, carry the best man possible into the world that day. Because I got three, four strikes, you know? I got convicted of four strikes on my case. They can only give me two, but I mean, they convicted me of four. If you go under my ship, bam, robbery in the first, burglary in the first, um, assault with a deadly weapon, and a battery with serious bodily injury. So four strikeable offenses I was convicted of. I can't do anything wrong. I have to sit out there every morning, have my coffee, and play over scenarios that could go, go down in life and how I'm gonna fucking react. Yeah. And that's been the biggest thing for me, is creation of the man that, that needs to walk through life correctly so I can make it without catching another strike going back to prison. It's just, it, prison's for the birds, you guys. You guys may see like a tad who's jacked like I did growing up and be like, oh, that's a bad it, It's oh, those, a lot of those guys are so weak. They're suffering from so much instant gratification and vices and drug addictions. Very rare that someone could actually possess a look like that, live like that, and then come out and live like this. Yeah. Let's check out the fridge. Everyone likes to see your fridge. This is one of those rich people fridges. If you don't know, it's you, just, you push them. And hey, oh, we, we love Andy Frazella. So I had to just drop Andy. We got the first form. And we love Icon Meals, so we just eat Icon Meals. You got that. And we, we got, dude, <laughs> got hey, the these, these are pre, on a pre-workout. fire. You take two, <laughs> two of these down before arm day, that shit will be just busting out the skin, just <laughs> pop, pop. Pre-made meals, then we go to Poppy Steak or Komodo or Gecko or something. You know, everybody in Miami is real progressive, yeah. really about working out, about success. And um, it's just, people don't hate on success here. People see you pull up and something sick. They actually know what a Richie is. Yeah. In other places, they don't even know what the watch is. They think I got a G-Shock on or something. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> you pull up in a Rolls like out here, it's just normal. Like people like it. They like success. The SVJ, they cheer. Rev it. And Cali, they're like, why are you so loud? My 
dog, you know? Yeah. A little dining area, not like the wine. You know, normal dining area. Savant system. If you guys don't got the super smart home, it's right here. So what does it do? AC? Everything. Cameras. There's cameras too, or? Yeah, there's cameras for everything. That's fire. Best furnishings, these, are, these aren't like, you know, this ain't Jerome's right here. You know, this, this is, <laughs> all these couches are 12,000, 15,000, 20,000. You know, this whole set's 30, 40,000. It's not Jerome's. Yeah, I like this little, this chess board right here. You play yeah. chess? Nah, yeah, it's chess around here, not checkers. You know? <laughs> this is one of the dopest things right here. You gotta check this view, see if these doors open all the way up. Jeez. You have an indoor outdoor space. Right. Don't get much better than this. How often are you coming in the pool? Oh, I come in every day. Every day? Yeah. It's crazy. You know why that's crazy? Because in SD, I never you never go to the pool, but here so you're we've out. been out here for two seconds, so you need to get in the <laughs> Text messaging from the short the, the shallow end right here winning. Oh, there's lighting up there that's sick as night. I can't take that thing off the TV. Like I have to call someone to figure out how to get. I do not know how to take that. That's impossible. You're the first person to live in this house. First person. Wow. Take the stickers off. So you guys, if you don't have an elevator in your house, you suck. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> you got to walk up your stairs. You know how much time that weighs. You can't. You know. You got to look at your feet going up the stairs. Yeah. You can't just text while you're in the elevator. So we're gonna go. Let's go. Let's <laughs> do this. Let's go, Zeke. 950 pound capacity. Oh, I think it's too heavy. <laughs> oh, shit. This is the heaviest it's ever been here. <laughs> it's confused. Try to open the door. Let's see. These things break so much, it's crazy. This thing, I don't even know how to open the door. I don't want to break it. Now we're locked in here. We'll see you up there. <laughs> we'll see you up there. You tell me I saw what you want. You tell me I saw what you need. Here's the second floor. And we got bedrooms all through the seven bedrooms. Here just you know we got one hidden over here. You chill here a lot too, right here? I don't I've never sat there. A hidden bedroom. This is what? Oh, house over here. House of a sneaky bedroom, huh? Oh, okay. I've I never even came over wow. here. Wow. This is dope. Plant fell over. Yeah. Oh, it's clean as looking over this. West has his own bridge. Is that the master right there? Yeah, you gotta have a bridge. <laughs> you know how we, I said you gotta have a moat going over your lake in San Diego? Yeah. You gotta have the bridge going to your master bedroom. Hold it up. We got a living room. Another, how many living rooms they need in this? We gotta see that watch collection though. Ooh. This door opens up. The Careful wall opens everywhere. up. Downstairs, so this wall, all the way outside. This is fire. Damn. It's kind of a small master bedroom, but. That's fire. That's just. Is that another balcony, like a side balcony? Or? That's a bathroom. Got some watches over here. It's like a. This master bedroom feels like a like a whole apartment. Yeah. You got a. It's a million gotta, bucks right there. Ooh. Five hundred. Which one's this one? Can I grab it? The old Hublot. Okay. And these are the Richard Mills. Yeah, Richard. So these these go for like two fifty. This, $250, this five five hundred. Five hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Damn. Real quick. There's another bedroom over here. Pretty cool bedroom. You gotta see this place. This is big. It's seven bedrooms. A seven bedroom mansion in this part of Miami. I mean, they just won't let you just step into that. Oh yeah. Like another master bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Damn. I'm like, I had to speak. <laughs> Got a good view. Yeah. There's the watch withdrawal, 310, that Damn. I just showed you. Mm -hmm. And that's a hell of a deal. Things worth 500. Here's a jet flight, 43,000. So it's 43,000 hours every time you fly the jet. Every time I fly back and forth. Wow. Four, four Round trip or? Look, another jet flight, July 19th, 43,000. Is that a one way? One way. Back and forth from here to Cali, 86K. Salary, so the, the amount of money that would save most people's lives right now, we're doing on just a flight back and forth. Okay. 
Nice laundry room. I didn't even know there was something in here. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just a wall. We'll go up, up top right here. We got some, we got a deck. I thought we were done. <laughs> <laughs> she said, run it back. Say you like that. Body intact. Like you ran track. I'm gonna put like a rack. Damn. I'm gonna put like a rack of dumbbells right here. That's fire. Like a pull up bar or something. Yeah. So I can come out here, get a pump, get some sun, get in the spa. Have but you it up yet? Yeah, hell yeah. At nighttime, the sunset goes, the oh, sun comes man. down over here. One of the best views in the world that's right there. A, yeah, that's a sick ass. Look at this. We're in a place like this, so I'm telling you guys. Things are five years. Everything like these are like five grand. Really? Everything here is so expensive. It's all the best. Shit. New Ghost 2023. Oh, yeah. Woo! No, no wow. Look at that interior. <laughs> this shit is crazy. This is one of one. No, nobody, oh nobody in the, God. nobody in the country has this color interior. That is Ghost. insane, bro. That is. Look at that. Here we'll open this door up. This pad right here is 20, 23 million. 23 mil. This. Right here, this is a B700. It's saying your baby mama's G63. Oh my, bro, look at this. Is that crazy? Bro. Check this out. Interior. They're all oh custom. My goodness. It took me three months to make this. I got it with 12 miles. I think it has 80 miles on it now. But it took me three months to design this. This is a B700, so it's 700 horsepower. Wow. You got one life and you're sitting there in your nuts all day. Scared to make a move. Are murdering. Mm -hmm. Hey, you got um, I see from the oh, back. Yeah. This Damn, bro. fat little chunk. Would you ever take this to uh, SD? No, or are you just no, leaving no, it out here? here. This is a Miami blue? Yeah. I'm doing Miami. everything in Miami. That's I'm gonna go get that Miami here. blue Richie. Watch. <laughs> When you see someone drive around Florida with Montana plates, which they're coming, you know they're on the game. Now we got the Phantom. I might wrap this gray just to match the whole gray with bright interior scheme. I've been looking at a few uh, Phantoms that are local. Sheesh. The only one I seen was one with magenta interior. Didn't really like it. I'm waiting to find maybe a yellow interior or something. But uh, I've had orange in two different roles. Yeah. This is my fifth Rolls Royce. I've been out of prison five years. I've been out of prison five years, this is my fifth Rolls Royce. Wow. You know, I got that Conan in San Diego you guys saw. I got the Wraith out there. I had a Conan before that other Conan. Now I got the Ghost. Yeah. So maybe I just get a Dawn out here with a crazy color interior just so I have every single one. That's fine. Get a Spectre or something, but you guys don't be stubborn in life. The second your conscience, your intuition is calling you to move on, move on. Like, I'm I'm Dago, bro. It's just, it Dago, straight up. My stomach says Dago. That's how I've been in San Diego my whole life. That's my shit. But I came to Miami, it was calling me. It was different energy. It was high frequency. Everyone out here was way positive. You guys see, see this wrong. And you guys are mostly lacking confidence. A lot of people, they're not where they want to be in life. They're not really celebrated by most people. They're probably just tolerated. But um, what type of this is his daily driver? They're like, this is going to be my daily driver. A $700,000 Rolls Royce on 26s. Yeah. That's a different mindset of someone who believes they should even live like that, straight up. Like, what type of person believes they should drive that? Nah, nah, nah. What type of person believes they should drive that? Mm. Say it differently. Yeah, I'm on a big vibe. Beachside, cool breeze, stroll eyes. Yeah, on this late night. See a little body as she eye. I'ma just say when we try, baby. Leave it all behind on the free mind lately. Good things come around.